Yeah, feel that. That's good for the day. All you need is a warm up set. All you need is one set. You heard about that one set thing, right? Oh yeah. One set. You gotta shock the muscle. You don't wanna you don't wanna scare it though. You also don't want to get too big. What's cracking guys on our Esoft here? In this video today, we got some bodybuilding stuff going on because let's face it, I want to build some size. I'm actually cutting right now, so that's kind of impossible, but I want to maintain the size that I got, right? I want to be aesthetic. It's a goal of mine. We got to find Natty King. I'm calling it pumping iron because the point of this video is that you gotta have fun. You have to have fun with your training, you have to enjoy what you do. As you know, I'm pursuing Olympic weightlifting and that takes up over half of my time, but the other roughly 40% is spent doing you know, hypertrophy work. So that means higher rep ranges, more volume. So the intensity overall is a little bit lower, but the volume is a little bit higher. Who's motherfucking popping my hair? This right here. Yeah, I'm starting right now. God, this looks intimidating. Give that set about a five out of 10. Not enough speed. Face looks like it's about to explode. We gotta make this weight look kind of epic. So we gotta slow it down, make it black and white, play some epic music. So this is a, a pretty typical workout that you guys have seen. I haven't really adjusted my volume so far when it comes to cutting, largely because I'm cutting with a very small deficit. I'm doing a lot of work. Uh, weightlifting usually takes me two and a half, three hours, just all that technique stuff. So that's kind of cardio in and of itself. So I haven't adjusted my overall volume. I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm working all the same areas. The ass chest, as you will see, is returning. Don't doubt it for a second. That's pretty intense. People yeah. ask me how I get all my cardio, and I just say warm up sets, man. It ain't never went nowhere. I was just, you know, I didn't have a tan. It was a bad angle in that photo. Don't judge me too strong. Um, I'm putting shit over my head, as I said before, four to five times per week. Hopefully, that's going to equal some deltoids. I don't know. That's the most amount that I could do. So a lot of the weightlifting, uh, accessory work. So again, the weight's not heavy. It's maybe 60 to 75% of my one rep max uh, when it comes to vertical pressing. But then I throw in a good mixture of uh, uh, back movements. People are kind of commenting or maybe complimenting a little bit the back, uh, the back that I develop. And that's because I do equal amounts of pull versus push when it comes to upper body training. So hitting up weak areas, doing the football uh, bar because I find it easier on my shoulder, doing the floor press, which I think is pretty much the best for me at least for my type of bench accessory movement uh, when it comes to the bench press itself I never worked on the pause bench but from doing all the floor press basically for the last two three years when I went to do a pause bench is virtually the exact same as my regular bench so I think the floor press is fantastic of course got to throw in some tricep movements a little bit of lateral raises got to hit up right there uh, some face pulls got to keep the shoulder healthy so good mixture of stuff but I'm calling it pumping iron because you know I love that documentary uh, from the 70s Arnold, Ed Corney, uh, Frank Zane, right, Franco Colombo. It created this environment, this sense that bodybuilding or lifting this weight, this old journey, this journey that we're all on, that it should be fun, it should be enjoyable, right? You should be laughing when you do it, and you should have a good time. So bringing back the fun into aesthetics, into some lifting, having the big picture, understanding that all this shit takes a long time, so you might as well have fun. I see there's a lot of new stuff going on at Fortis Fitness. You're constantly improving. What are some of the new pieces of equipment that are coming you up? You guys keep breaking stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of new stuff. You have some patent pending stuff though, Sean, like things that you basically had to think of because of the needs, I guess, of the gym, like some things that maybe haven't been really seen before. Yeah, we have an unusual yeah. gym. I have a lot of beginners, a lot of really the best gym, gym, Sean. Oh, you're very kind. I was gonna say, <laughs> guys, if you wanna see a new gym tour, you should like the video, leave a comment below, because I'd love to do like an update 2015. You probably have added since the year and a half that we did it last time. Absolutely. Like 40% like yeah. new stuff. Like this whole side was like redone. I don't know how much money you spent Yeah, on. but we've Sean, got we all some, appreciate it. We've got some really interesting gadgets coming. Some yeah. interesting equipment. Um, you know, different bars, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, if you want to see another gym tour, I'd, I'd be pleased as punch to take you on a gym tour. That, where does that say? Uh, hey, do you know- uh, 70s. <laughs> All right, I'm ending this, Sean. Appreciate it as always. Ow! <laughs>
Jesus. Guys, that is pretty much it. A lot of herking and jerking. Uh, I will do an update on the cutting, uh, how it's going in maybe a week or two. To be honest, I'm down a couple pounds. Not really that noticeable. It'll be more noticeable a couple more pounds down the road, but things are going well. Progress is being made. I'm getting a little bit more tanned, like 2%. I've, I've gone from like eggshell to like a solid alabaster skin tone, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Anyways, guys, I gotta go. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video, and I'll be seeing all you guys, especially my professional toners, in that next video. Peace.